Welcome to MedTech Evolution series of videos. BPAC NZ RX Staff Setup. To accommodate the introduction of the New Zealand formulary drug data within MedTech Evolution, the following changes have been made to the Staff Setup screen. The introduction of the New Zealand formulary drug data within MedTech Evolution, the following changes have been made to the Staff Setup screen. So we are going to go to Evolution menu. Options, staff, members, and select one of our providers. We're going to go to the provider messages tab. Enable repeat script without old drug warnings. Within the provider messages tab, the enabled repeat script without old drug warnings option has been removed. This is to ensure that users are not able to repeat prescriptions for old, unmapped MIMS medication by overriding the prompt to remap the equivalent NZF medication. Display warning for mild patient medical warnings. Within the Provider Messages tab, a new Display warning for mild patient medical warnings option has been added. This one here. This tick box. By default, this option has been selected for all providers and can be unselected if the provider does not want to receive mild patient medical warning alert prompts. This is a provider specific option, so each provider can select their own choice. And that's this tick box here under display warning prompt for mild patient medical warning. Interaction warning messages. The level of drug interactions that are displayed to a prescriber when prescribing using BPAC and ZRX can be configured at an individual level. By default, the Display All Interaction Warnings option will be applied to all prescribers. This is the button here. Individual prescribers can choose to select Display Specific Interaction Warnings, where you can select the warnings that you would wish to display the action based codes here are monitor for interactions where the drug pair is valuable but no compensatory action is possible. But the patient needs to be monitored to assess the outcome. For interactions where biochemical or therapeutic drug monitoring is recommended and further action may be needed based on the results. Information. For interactions where close follow-up or monitoring are probably not automatically warranted due to the low probability of an interaction, but where more information is given in the event of a problem. No action. For interactions where no action is needed. Or for drug pairs where no interaction occurs. An important note for action-based interactions. For clinical safety, Avoid and adjust action codes cannot be suppressed. Severity-based interactions. Moderate. For interactions that could result in an effect that may either cause considerable distress or partially incapacitate the patient, these interactions are likely to be life-threatening and result in long-term effects. Mild. For interactions that could result in an effect that is mild and unlikely to unduly concern or incapacitate the majority of patients. Nothing expected. For interactions that are unlikely to result in an effect or for drug pairs where no interaction occurs. An important note for severity based interactions. For clinical safety reasons, severe and unknown severity codes cannot be suppressed. Evidence-based codes. Extensive. For interactions where the information given is based on numerous small or medium-sized studies or several large studies, the information is usually supported by case reports. Study. For interactions where the information given is based on a formal study, this may be one small or medium-sized study or several small studies. The studies may or may not be supported by case reports. Case. For interactions where the information given is based either on a single case report 
or a limited number of case reports. No trials appear to have been conducted. Theoretical. For interactions where the information given is based on a theoretical interaction or lack of interaction, this information may have been derived either from in vitro studies involving the drug in question or based on the way another member of the same group act. To view these explanations, just click on the little blue question mark by the drug interaction warnings. Careful consideration should be given before suppressing alerts for prescribers and should be relative to their experience. Should a prescriber wish to view any interactions which have been suppressed, the easiest method will be to utilise the interactions feature available on the NZF website, www.nzf.org.nz.